on New City Hall. This is City TV everywhere. Tonight, Holy Week begins. Tonight, parade protest. Tonight, Israeli concerns. Here's the latest. From the City Pulse News Team, the weekend edition of City Pulse Tonight. Good evening, a night of reverence in churches across the city as Holy Week begins. The sound of music is underscoring celebrations. We visited St. Paul's Anglican Church earlier this evening as worshipers prepared for a week of observances in preparation for Easter. Pope John Paul making a special effort to reach out to young members of the church as he presided at a Palm Sunday procession. The pontiff spoke before a solemn crowd of 45,000 in St. Peter's Square. He urged young people to live their life in a Christian way. A gathering 30,000 strong on the streets of Toronto today for a slightly less reverent occasion, the city's second annual St. Patrick's Parade turned the town a bright hue of green. Uh, it's obviously double in size since last year, and uh, within about another three or four years, we'd have one of the biggest parades in North America. And without the people that supported us on this, this parade wouldn't be here today. Not all Irish eyes were smiling at today's parade. The Irish Freedom Association protested their exclusion in the day's festivities. They're basically censoring anything to do with the conflict in the north. And we believe this is unfortunate because many Irish people live under British occupation. And their plight should not be forgotten about on the biggest day in the year for the Irish in Toronto. Why did you leave out this group from the parade? Well, we ha will not allow any political groups into the parade. We are non-sectarian. So if they want to come and demonstrate, that's entirely their lot. Stop Organizers say they are determined to keep Toronto's St. Patrick's Parade non-political. This is only the second year this century that Toronto has had a St. Patrick's Parade. The annual...